Welcome back to Living 808. We're here at the Servco Home and Appliance Showroom for this week's Hawaii's Kitchen. Now, this week we are featuring Baku. It's a relatively new restaurant, just opened a couple of months ago uh, in Waikiki at the International Marketplace. We're learning all about the restaurant today and making two of their signature dishes. We've got General Manager Keith joining us and Executive Chef Joe. Thank you so much for, for being here. Thanks today. for having us. Yeah. Um, before we get into the dishes, tell us more about the restaurant. Well, Baku, ba the name Baku refers to a mythological creature that eats children's night Nightmares. <laughs> so we say that when you come to Baku, all your troubles go away and you have a great time in the restaurant. But our concept is modern Japanese and we use a, an ancient form of cooking called robata, which we have an eight-foot robata grill, which uses a specific charcoal that burns at a very high temperature that sears, sears the flavors into the food. Okay, it's robata. 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 Okay, yeah. I've never heard of that. That sounds so interesting. Yeah, we're very unique to Hawaii. I think this is, we're the first focused on robata here in, in, well, in Waikiki for sure. Great. Well, thank you for, for telling us all about this. Um, so we're making two dishes today. What are they? Correct. We have a uh, ginger garlic duck breast, and then we also have tuna tataki, which is what we'll make first. Okay. So tell us about the tuna tataki. What are the ingredients? So we have tuna, obviously. A um, little bit of sesame seeds that we're going to crust with it. We have a uh, yuzu mayo. We have some pickled onions, a little bit of green onions, and then up top we have some crispy garlic, a little lotus chips, and some flowers and some microherbs that we'll garnish with, and then finish everything off with a little sweet soy um, dressing that we make with kefir lime. Okay, sounds good. Why don't we go ahead and start? <clears throat> All right, so the first thing we do is just kind of season it up with just a little bit of coarse salt, and then we dredge it in the tested, toasted sesame seeds, and then all we're going to do in a really hot pan is we are going to sear this on both sides. Now all we want to do is just sear the outside, kind of toast the seeds just a touch more, but we want to keep it really basically rare raw in the center. Okay. Where do you guys get your fish from? Uh, this is all local. I mean, the majority mm -hmm. of all of our fish and most of our products that we use are all local, as local as we can get. Um, so this tuna was caught around here. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> yeah, there's a real movement, you know, to try and uh, use fresh ingredients, local ingredients. Yeah, no matter where you are, you should try to get as local stuff as you possibly can. I mean, it's going to be fresher, it's going to be a little tastier, it's going to be picked mm -hmm. at the right time. So it's a, it's a big movement everywhere, and it should be a big movement everywhere. Yeah. Um, so that's about all we want to do. So just really toast the outside okay. and go from there. So you got a little, little crust on there. I've never tried this uh, seasoned with sesame. It gives it a nice nutty flavor um, versus just kind of that sand. So it just kind of elevates the, the texture and the flavors a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as we cut into it, you'll see it'll kind of fall off a little bit. It'll stay together. So from here, it's kind of ready to go. So we can start plating the dish a little bit. Okay. Um, so the first thing we want to do is just slice it. And usually that little end piece is for us to snack on in the kitchen. <laughs> but from there, we just want to take and slice off about uh, four or five pieces, however maybe we can get out of the little portion. <clears throat> nice. And then our bowl. And from there we start off with a little bit of this yuzu mayo that we make. Um, it's got a little bit of lemon juice, or uh, lime juice, I'm sorry, a little yuzu juice and some lime zest that we go through. <clears throat> and then a little onions. Tuna goes in. We're going to add a little bit of our dressing, mm. and then we garnish it with some chips and a little green onion. And look at that. Voila. Mm -hmm. And it's done. That was fast. <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> so. yeah, that was amazing. Um, I, uh, tell me about the dressing real quick. What was in the dressing? So the dressing itself is just a little bit of uh, sugar syrup that we make with kefir lime, a uh, little bit of ginger that we puree up, and show you, and a little bit of vinegar. That's it. Real super simple, but it's got an amazing amount of flavor to it. Great. Chef, thank you so much. I can't wait to try this dish, but we're going to wait for our third segment, our final segment, to go, go ahead and, and taste everything. But Perfect. thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. That does look delicious. Oh. I've been up since 1.30 a.m. So. Two minutes of talking. You didn't get to take <laughs> yes. a nap before coming back in? I did not, but oh. that looks delicious. Good. I, Trina must have enjoyed that. I know she did. Well, you know what? You can, you can treat yourself to dinner. Okay. Maybe I'll treat you. You Since bought me jewelry in. and dinner. Oh, <laughs> I win today. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, coming up on Living in Wait, we pay.